Hi, this is Adam Rosales. I'm a Major League Baseball player, and today's pro tip is feeding the baseball from shortstop and second base in a double play situation. So we're going to first talk about there's three different ways to feed that I like to feed from shortstop, and there's about three different ways from second base. So we'll start over here at shortstop first. We'll just leave the ball stationary. This is a ball that's hit more towards your right side, more towards the six hole. Start over here. And the most important thing is setting your feet up before the ground ball actually gets to you. So you approach it and kind of open up a little bit. On a routine ground ball, you're facing this way and going towards first base. But on a double play, you open up towards second base. Make sure you make a good transition. Stay down low and you want to throw the ball sidearm coming up. A lot of kids, a lot of young players, they like to, they feel the ball well, but they stand up and throw the ball down. As a second baseman, that's almost impossible to recognize a ball coming down. It's not as easy. So once again, open up, keep your hands out in front of you, wrist flat, head down, transition, throw down to up, right to his chest. Another one is the routine ground ball right at you. And this is where you have to shuffle your feet. So you approach the ground ball directly right here in front, like a, like a routine ground ball. You don't have to open up. It's just a routine ground ball. Make the transition, shuffle your feet, and follow your throw. A lot of young players like to just get it, and they don't, they stop moving their feet, and they just, throw the ball really hard. But since you're really close to second base, you gotta stay under control and throw a nice, firm, but not hard, not too soft, feed to the second baseman. So I'll show you again. So square up towards the ball, transition, shuffle your feet, nice and soft, and follow your throw. And the third feed that I do is the ball to my left. This is kind of tricky because you're on the run and when you throw the ball, you got to make sure you throw it to the, the third base side of second base and not the second base side because the ball is going to come with you. So the ball is going to be over here. So you're going to be on the run. Make sure you make a good transition and throw it to the right side of second base. Now we'll move over to second base and we'll show you some similar feeds. Okay, now I'm the second baseman and we're gonna work on feeds as a second baseman thrown to the shortstop at second base. So just like we did over at shortstop, how we opened up to the base, we're actually gonna open up again towards the base on the ball to our left. So we're gonna come over here to the ball on our left and our routine ground ball looks like this. You're squared up right here you're gonna make a throw to first base. But when you have to make a throw to second base, you have to set your feet early. So when you approach the baseball, you wanna angle your feet like this so you can easily open up, make sure you stay down in your legs, and again, throw the ball from down to up. Again, young players like to stand up, which loses time. At a ground ball, you gotta be quick. As a young player, kids like to stand up, and they kind of hide the ball right here and they get rid of it quick and it's tough for the shortstop to handle. So a ground ball to your left as the second baseman properly looks like this. So you open up, keep your head down, stay down, your angle towards the bag, turn your hips, throw down to up. Now we'll move over. This is a routine ground ball feed as a second baseman to a shortstop. This one, you really it's really important to show the ball to your shortstop. So you approach the baseball like a routine ground ball. You don't need to do anything with your feet. It's just regular approach. Keep your hands out in front, your wrists flat, and the transition to your chest. And you really want to show him the baseball, really see 
let him see, and you're gonna push off your right foot and extend your arm. Make sure on this, it's a really key to follow your throw. If you don't follow your throw, the ball will be inaccurate, and over a long season, you don't, you'll make too many errors. So I'll show you again, a routine double play from second base in full speed looks like this. Now this is another difficult one. The ones that always go towards the bag is difficult because you're gonna have to get it, make sure that the shortstop sees it, but almost like a bowling action, underhand it, making sure that the shortstop's ready for it. So you gotta make sure you get the right angle towards the ball, get to it, backhand it, show, get the transition, show them the baseball, and throw it to the left side of first, the left side of second base. If you throw it to the right side of second base, there's no way you can turn a double play. The shortstop won't have enough time. And you can get kind of fun with it. You can do a backhand flip. It's kind of easy, but I'm sure coaches don't like it. But I'll show you. You just gotta be really loose. That's really important when you're fielding a ground ball. A lot of young players like to be really intense and wiry, and which makes them really stiff. The looser you are taking ground balls, the more, the quicker the adjustments you can make, the smoother you're gonna be, the less mistakes you're gonna make. So make sure you stay really loose. I like to take ground balls at about 85% instead of 100%. This is Adam Rosales. Today's pro tip was feeding double play balls from shortstop and second base.